Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chris video on the channel. Today I'll be going over a video that I did July 1st, but the audio wasn't good. You guys can not hear from it. So I'm going to re-upload it so you guys can hear, hear me better. So let's get into it. Let's go. We're going, you know, going over Hope Chat. Faith and Love, just like we did in that video. Let's go to Romans 5, verse 5. Says, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Bible, through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. The thing here is that, that God's hope will not put us down because He gave, because He gave the Holy Spirit to us, which don't the Bible that uh, that's a good thing, which it. The Holy Spirit is a good thing. So yeah, um, let's go to Romans 15, verse 13. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace, and believing so that the power of the power of the Holy Spirit, you you may abound in hope. That thing is, in all joy and peace, let hope come over you. Like, let hope take over you, and God will take over you once you have that hope, and God and Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior. So yeah, that's what that means. Now let's go to Psalm thirty. 31 verse 24 it says that be strong and let your heart take courage all who wait for the, who wait the Lord that means this is that let God let God take have hope that God would take over your heart and have courage and hope that he would do that. So yeah, that's what that means. Now moving on to the next part, sharing faith. Let's go to Matthew 10, verse 19 and 20. says that when they deliver you over don't be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say but what you are to say will be given to you in that hour for it is not you who will speak but the spirit of his, your father father speaking through you what that means is share your faith with God because he he will speak for you and and you having that feeling of believing in him, in him to do that that is what trying that's what sharing the faith is for him so yeah now let's go to so let's go to Proverbs 11 verse 30 Says that the fruit of righteousness is a tree of life, and whoever captures souls is wise. So what that means is, whoever gets that fruit, it shares from the tree of life, will show that faith for everyone, especially Jesus Christ and God. So that's what that is. Now moving on to the love part. Let's go to John thir John thirteen verse thirty four and five and thirty uh, John, yeah John thirteen verse thirty four and thirty five. He 
this, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another just, just as I have loved you. You are also lo to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciple, if you if you have love for one another. What well, that means is when, when if you love everyone just like how how Jesus has loved you, and and love love other people like to know that you, you are one of Jesus Christ's uh, all Lord and Savior's disciple. Yeah, that's what that verse means. Now let's go to one John three verse one. says that see what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God so we are the reason why the Lord does not know us is that it does not know it did not know him So what that means is, uh, show what kind of love the, that the God of Heavenly Father has given us, and show them uh, what He passed down to us. So that's what that means. Let's go to one John, verse three. I uh, mean one John three, verse eleven. For this is the message that you heard, that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. And that means this, that we should love one another, just like how Jesus, Christ, our Lord, and Savior, and how God uh, loved us. So that's what that means. Now let's go to one John four, verse seven, ten, and nineteen. One John four, verse seven, ten, and nineteen. Love, let us love one another for love is from God and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God and this is love not that we have loved God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the perfect perpetration for our sins we love because he loved us first what I'm trying to say here is that look that we that we love one each other because God loved us first. That's the reason. I like to end this with the prayer. Like God for telling us that 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 we should have hope in you because we and everything. Thank God for telling us that to share faith with you because you will be the one who speak for us. Thank God for telling us to love love each other because because you loved us first. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.